Lena's parents still lived in Rothsey, and because of work, Lena only saw them occasionally. In London, she spent most of her time in adult company. It was thought she needed to be with children her own age. And so she was enrolled at the Italia Conti Stage School. Lena? Yes, Mr. Vogt. Ron. She came into the building, everyone recognised that it was Lena Zavaroni, this young girl who'd been singing and photographs in the newspaper, so everyone was excited to have her at the school. During rehearsals, she was so quiet and everyone was competitive and I'm going to do this, I'm going to do this. And Lena would sing her numbers and just mark through them um, before the show actually went on, everyone was nudging, she's not going to do it, she's not going to do it, she won't be able to do it, she won't be able to perform, she's not this big Lena type character. And of course the curtain went up and suddenly this young kid went on stage with a voice to die for. <laughs> At the age of 14, Lena was now old enough to double the number of days she could work. And so, as well as her schooling, she did more TV guest appearances, performed a successful West End stage show, recorded more records, and starred in her own television show. It seemed as if there was no stopping her. Raindrops on roses with whiskers on kittens, bright copper kettles with warm woolen mittens, brown paper packages tied up with strings. Dorothy Solomon, when you first took Lena away to start this incredible career of hers in this unbelievable four years that she's had, you, you didn't really want to get involved in it, did you? No, not with a nine-year-old child. What, you expected her to be a monster, did you? Yes, and also it's quite difficult, you know, to look after um, a child of that age. I mean, we have a, an early picture of her here. Now, at that stage, you could have pretty well got away with anything just because you were very young, couldn't yeah. you? Is it much more difficult now? Well, I should think so, because I don't, you know, Dorothy... Well, she, as she says, she enjoys it so much, and she does work hard at it, and that's why I think she does it so well. I think I was a student here when I read in the tabloids that Lena had put it down to being at stage school with other girls around her who were much slimmer than her, and I actually remember feeling offended that she... I always felt blamed. It was a case of, Lena, why have you said that? Nobody ever mentioned weight at school. Nobody ever said anything. Um, and I did feel insulted that she had put it down to her school friends who, you know, had all been in together. And to say that it was a case of her sharing a class with thinner pupils, I found that quite offensive. Mm -hmm. 